Next week, the jury that convicted Scott Peterson of murder will start hearing testimony about whether or not Peterson deserves the death penalty for the murder of his wife, Lacey, and their unborn son. And among the witnesses who could be called back to testify is Peterson's former girlfriend, Amber Fry. Her recorded phone conversations with Peterson may have helped to seal his fate. Gloria Allred is Amber Fry's attorney, and defense attorney Roy Black is an NBC News analyst. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Gloria, you've good morning, seen. Uh, good morning, Roy. Gloria, you've seen and spoken to Amber Fry since the verdict on Friday. Uh, her father said in an interview that he could hear tears in her voice when she discussed the verdict. How would you describe her reaction? Matt, it was a very emotional day, and her feelings towards Scott Peterson are very complicated. But she's always said that it was for the jury to decide whether or not Scott Peterson was guilty of the crimes for which he's charged and that God would be the ultimate judge. And that's still her position. You say her feelings towards Scott Peterson are complicated. Was there a certain sense of guilt that, sh that her testimony may have helped to seal this fate? I think that she knows that she played a role in this trial. And obviously she was a witness that was called by the prosecution. But again, it was those 12 jurors that made that decision. And so she knows that she did her duty. And I might add that I'm really proud of her because it took an enormous amount of courage to do what she did, to tape those phone calls between herself and Scott after Lacey disappeared. And she did so at potential risk of harm to herself. And, and when she was doing that, Gloria, when she was taping those phone conversations, and even when she marched into that courtroom through all the cameras to testify bravely, as a lot of yes. people say, mm -hmm. Did, did she stop to think about the death penalty, that this was a case where he faced the death penalty? And what were her feelings about that? Her feelings are that she has always prayed for Lacey and for Connor. And she's very well aware of the double murder uh, and that it's a real tragedy for Lacey, for Connor, for their family. And so her focus was just to tell the truth. Whatever the consequences would be from telling the truth, then it was not for her to decide about those consequences. One of the possible consequences is the death penalty and there's been some talk, some reporting over the weekend that during the penalty phase the defense might like to call Amber Fry because it's been reported she's philosophically opposed to the death penalty. Would she testify in the penalty phase for the defense willingly? Well I have not been notified by the defense that they are going to seek to call her. As a matter of fact Mark Arago said that he was going to call her in the preliminary hearing and then didn't. And then he said he was going to recall her as a defense witness in the trial, and he didn't. So if now he's saying that he's going to try to call her as a defense witness in the sentencing stage, well, that's news for me. We'll see what, whether he does that or not. Well, She's not going to disclose whether or not she thinks that Scott Peterson should get the death so penalty. So you won't tell me whether she does or doesn't think he deserves a death penalty? Well, that decision should be made by the jury after they hear all of the evidence, and they're going to begin to hear that evidence very soon. Roy, you're a defense attorney. You've just lost a tough trial. You're representing Scott Peterson, and you've got, you think, one of the key witnesses for the prosecution who may have a philosophical opposition to the death penalty. Would you call Amber Fry? Uh, not a chance. I'm not going to put a potentially adverse witness on the stand and cause controversy over that. I only want people who are favorable, who are going to say nice things about my client. Remember, the jury has to make a decision whether to sentence this person to death. You want to humanize Scott Peterson. You don't want to cause more uh, controversy by calling in Amber. Well, let me take it one step further, though, Roy. I mean, if you could put someone like Amber Fry on the stand who says, despite what he did to me, despite the lies he told me, and despite the fact that now the jury has spoken and said that he was guilty of first and second degree murder, I don't think he should die. Why wouldn't that be effective with the jury? Well, because that's her personal opinion. It's going to be the opinion of the 12 people on the jury that count, not Amber Fry's. So what you want to do is to show the jury that his life is worth saving. The mere fact that Amber says that uh, he ought to live is not going to have much uh, impact. Now, if Sharon Rocha, uh, Lacey's mother, gets on the stand and say that, that would have some impact. But what Amber has to say, I don't think it's going to have much impact at all. Gloria, would you say to Mark Garagos, not a good idea to call Amber Fry? Would you be willing to give that advice? I think that uh, Mark Garagos probably wouldn't follow my advice if I gave it. Having said that, uh, I think it probably would not be a wise move for him to call her. And the jury, Matt, is going to have to look at the aggravating circumstances and look at the mitigating circumstances. On the mitigating side, 
Scott Peterson has no prior criminal history. On the aggravating, aggravating side, they can look at the nature and the circumstances of the crime. We have an eight-month pregnant woman. We have a fetus. Uh, a, a crime of violence is alleged by the prosecution. So actually, they could go either way on this. I just 10 seconds left, Roy. First of all, I want to congratulate you because on Friday, you predicted a, a verdict would come. That afternoon, you were right. Go out on a limb one more time. Do you think in a couple of weeks this jury is going to come to the conclusion that Scott Peterson deserves to die? Absolutely not. And I think the jury has signaled their intentions by only finding him guilty of second-degree murder of the unborn child. If they were really after him, if this was really something they were looking for in the death penalty, they would have found him guilty of first-degree murder on both deaths. On the other hand, by finding first-degree and second-degree, that qualified him potentially for the death penalty. So we'll have to wait and see. To be continued. Gloria Allred and Roy Black, thanks to both of you. I appreciate it.